Welcome back, guys. We have a pro tech to talk about. Now, I've done other, I've done a bunch of pro tech videos. Uh, this one was loaned in from my good buddy Chris over at the Titanium Addiction YouTube channel. And I will put a link to his channel down below. Please go check him out. Um, here is some specifics on this particular one, the model number, the TR-4.F3 operator. So it gives you some details there. Typical ProTech packaging comes in a uh, hard plastic or hard uh, cardboard case, has a um, kind of microfiber-ish, canvas-ish type of pouch. Uh, also usually comes in, when you first buy it, in a plastic bag, kind of smothered with oil to keep them fresh in shipping and whatnot. Bring the coin out here. Number nine. Rule number nine is always carry a knife. Comes from the TV show NCIS. I get a lot of people ask about that from time to time. I will put down in the description um, the exact episode that it came from. I think it was season one, episode something. I have it. Uh, I'll put it in the description just in case anybody cares. So let's dive into this very cool ProTech. Now the ProTech operator line is my favorite line because it's just all blacked out. It has a tritium insert. Don't know if it's dark enough in here to show. There you go. So it's maybe a little more vibrant on camera than it is in real life. But everything else about this knife is blacked out. It's super cool. Okay. It does have aluminum scales. Aluminum back. I don't know about the backspacer material. It has a backspacer with a lanyard hole. Eh, not exactly my thing. I don't do lanyards. And it has this protruding piece that is not really a glass breaker per se in a traditional sense. Traditional sense would have a bit more of a point to it. Um, but this would definitely work and help concentrate that energy right here to break glass. Another cool feature here is they have this, what they call a feather milling pattern, but right under the pocket clip, it's milled out flat or it's like not milled out, I guess, because it is just flat. That really does aid in deploying in and out of your pocket. <clears throat> it seems like a small thing, but it really does make a difference there at that tightest point where the, the spring clip is sprung against, it really does allow it to slide in and out of your pocket a lot easier than if it was milled all the way underneath of the pocket clip. Some other manufacturers and some other models do that also. And I think that's really, you know, it's just an extra attention to detail. And it's the maker, manufacturer, kind of really thinking about the end user. So I appreciate that. There is a safety here to lock out that fire button. Uh, I don't know that you're accidentally going to fire it. It is recessed. It does not protrude out from the scales. But yes, uh, you could perhaps accidentally fire it. I do not run a safety on my automatics. When I've been carrying this particular one, I have left the safety off. But look at that just very cool kind of feather milling. It's more than just the main part. There's a bunch of really intricate milling, which is just very cool, very detail oriented. Again, the pocket clip, as we talked about, very cool. And again, all blacked out, no branding on the blades of their operator series whatsoever. Completely sterile blade that's just DLC coded. I believe these are DLC coded. Okay, let's talk about the specs a little bit. It's five and a quarter closed, nine and a quarter overall. So this is a big boy. Blade length is 4.03 with 3.5 inch cutting edge. Now, it's not super thin behind the edge, but this is not really made to be your kitchen slicey-dicey knife. Uh, it is three-thou behind the edge. 
Blade thickness is 0.123. It is CPM D2. I do appreciate the fact that they say that in the packaging and in their literature, that it is CPM D2, because there is also a D2, which is two totally different things. And I wish that everybody that used CPM D2 would put CPM D2, because there's a lot of confusion and a lot of internet arguing about companies that say they just use D2. Is it really CPM D2 or is it just D2? Okay. Overall thickness is 0.525 minus the pocket clip and it weighs in at 5.3 ounces. So as a comparison, your standard D cell battery is five ounces. So it's basically a D cell battery in your pocket, but it carries a lot better than that. Protec fires phenomenally. Okay. I wish I could show the difference and maybe you guys can pick it up. Maybe you can't. Here's the Microtech stitch that hits hard also. And then you've got the Red Horse Knife Works that hits a little less hard. It, I, I, I know it's not really coming across on video, but trust me, in the hand, you definitely can notice the difference. I like the way Protec does their springs. That's really all it is. How tight is the spring? How hard is the spring? How short is the spring? How long is the spring? However the mechanism is inside, it's all about the spring. And I really do appreciate the way Protec does it. You can choke up. feels great. And you can get really a good grip on this. <clears throat> there is a, you know, it's like a five-finger knife. <clears throat> it's not quite a two-hander. But it is definitely kind of, it gives you options. You can choke back. Is that is that the term? I don't know. If you need a little bit more reach, you can hold it towards the butt end. Still have some control with your thumb on top and get in and do some work. You can hold it in a normal grip and you can choke up for some more delicate type work. I think, the, again, the Operator Series is my favorite. All Blacked Out is super awesome. Um, and this, this particular model in the Operator Series is one of my more favorite ones, okay? Here it is next to the Sharpie. Give you a couple of quick size comparisons. As I look at the time, I've kind of rambled a little bit. Spyderco Delica. Since we pulled out these other automatics, let's throw them up here. The Hellraiser P-Series Automatic and Peter from A Therapeutic Edges, one of his most favorite knives that he so graciously loaned me, the Microtech Stitch. Okay? Um, yeah, I think the Protech line is great. I will put a link to my Protech playlist right up here. So go check out the playlist for more awesome Protech knives. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.